Hi Simaroos, today I'm going to do a very quick video on how to set up the folders you need to put mods in your games. This is actually a really simple process, don't panic if you haven't done it before, I promise you it's really simple. The main thing you need to do is make sure they're going in the correct place. So there's two places on your computer where the Sims files are stored, in your documents and also in your program files. Now in your program files, it will be all the literally the game files and all the stuff that your computer needs so in this folder just ignore it okay i'm telling you it's there but don't touch it don't get confused with program files just don't go near it what you need is you need the file in the documents so navigate to your documents go to electronic arts the sims 3 and this is where you need to set up your mods file by the way, if you're on a Mac, it is exactly the same process and it's practically the exactly the same root folder. I will put a little screenshot to show you. So there's two ways of doing this. You can either do it manually or you can do it really, really, really easily by going to Carl's Sims 4 guide. I know it's a Sims 4, but just ignore that. And I will put the forum um, link down below. It does actually give you a step-by-step -step on how to do it. But if you want it even easier, go to Mod The Sims, and again, I will link this file below. And again, it does actually have a step-by-step, -step, but I'm gonna tell you how to do it, and it's so, so easy. So I've already told you where to do it. So navigate down to this download file here, and it will give you a ready-made framework of everything you need to do, everything you need to put in those files. So once it's download, it will appear either down here if that's how you've got it set up, or if you go into your downloads file, you will see it as a zip file. So go into that file however you wish to from the um, explorer or from your downloads file. Double click on it. You will need to make sure you have a program that will unzip it. Um, I will mention the one I've got down below because I can't remember what it is most computers should have it if not download one and here it literally it means basically what it means is that here you can't click on it with a zip file unzipper it will then show you what's inside the file and this is what's inside the file this mods folder here um, just drag it somewhere just drag it to the desktop or something and then you can get rid of all of that then let's go into that mods file and i'll show you what it is so in the mods file it's given you an overrides file packages and resource so that is within the mods so all you need to do is go back to that folder i said originally documents electronic arts sims 3 and drag that mods file into that so it will appear with all the other ones there you go so it's now in there it's not alphabetical because it's just jumped in there okay so that's where it needs to be that file there click into mods and you've got it there this is the key file, okay? And you can download it separately from that uh, Sim Carl Sims 4 uh, forum should you wish to and set these folders up separately because they're literally just go to create new folder. But if you want, this is easier. But that CFG file is the one that makes all your mods work. Pretty much ignore overrides for now. And then packages is where you want to put all your mods. Now again, because this is a pre-packed uh, folder system it's already given you two in there to get you started to make sure it's running properly this no intro package i always keep that in there because it just makes the game load so much quicker no sparkles i mean I, personally why would anyone why would you not want sparkles it's like glitter glitter is life the more glitter the more sparkles you have the better surely but it's a good way of testing if your game is if the mods are running properly but you'll be able to tell from the no intro package so start up your game So after that Baxis logo is normally when you would then get that really long introduction video but as you can see with the no intro package it's just got rid of it so it just starts opening up your game. It's much much quicker. I know you can skip it but why when you can just put in a mod and it just does it for you. 
once your game opens and you know it's worked, you just come out of it or play it, whatever you're doing. I'm going to come out of it because we know that that no intro package has worked, which means that most file is in the correct place and it's worked, which then means you can start having fun and downloading more. So you may have heard of NRAS. This is like the gospel of um, mods. Here you've got so many mods. Navigate to mods and you can see all the different ones you can put in. I suggest before you do anything else, install Error Trap which is here and also overwatch which is here both of these basically clean out crap from your game and it just makes it run a lot smoother so error trap overwatch all you need to do is literally just click download for patch uh, make sure you are downloading the correct one for your game if you want you can go into the actual um, mod and you can read more about it as well in the documentation and it will tell you exactly what you can do with it I don't change any of the settings, I literally just pop it in my game. So here you can see it downloaded the zip file, again open up the zip file, that package then goes exactly where the mod file is that we've just created. Electronic Arts, Sims 3, Mods, Packages and put it in next to the no intro package. That's it. You will have to come out of your game and go back in it for it to find new mods but that means that now when I open my game no intro is going to kick in and also overwork watch is now going to clean up a load of the junk and like rerouting sims that get stuck and things like that it's brilliant brilliant mod it's really as simple as that I hope that has been simple Go into NRAS, have a look at some of the mods. You may have heard of some other ones in here and they're, some of them are really fun. So just go and have a look and see what you can, see what takes your fancy really and just put in what you want. Mod The Sims also goes to The Sims 3 downloads and there is so many in here as well. And some of them, like I said, they're quite fun. Um, there is loads. I don't know why it's not showing loads. Oh, that's just the recently uploaded. Anyway, there's hundreds of them. Just go ahead and see what you fancy. I will be doing another video at some point on my favourite mods and the must-have mods, but that is, in essence, a quick way of getting mods in your game. I hope that's been helpful for you. Any suggestions or comments, please let me know, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Thanks so much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you could like the video and if you could subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to hit the bell icon, you'll receive updates of when I upload a new video. And obviously, please share with your friends if you enjoyed it. Thanks very much. See you in the next one.